Hey SEO friends, I'm back at it today with a new video on mass page sites for local SEO. Uh, this might be old hat to a lot of you, to some of you. Um, maybe you didn't jump into mass page sites because you didn't know how to do it or were afraid or whatever. Um, this is the best program for mass page sites that I've found. I have tried the others. Um, page Generator Pro. Uh, quick and easy. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to do mass page sites, how to build multiple pages for your industry or your local service site. Um, if you want to build a page for, you know, location pages, whatever, you know, with, you know, spun content, etc. This is how do you do it. So Page Generator Pro. Now, uh, the reason why I like uh, Page Generator Pro is it's fast and easy. Um, the management is easy. The management is really well done. I'm going to show you how you manage the pages once they're created. Um, it does use spin text. So if you throw a spin text in there, when it generates the pages, it uses the spin text and makes the pages unique. Um, you can slug everything, meaning you can put this slug that you create into uh, a Google map. You can put it into an alt tag. You can put it into the title. You can put it into the URL. You can put that everywhere and it'll change as it builds each one of the pages. And the other important thing is that it has builder support. So the right hand side of the screen, I show you the builder support. And uh, basically the big ones are, you know, highlighted Beaver Builder, Divi, Elementor, Oxygen, Visual Composer. It does all of them. Um, you know, it, it has full support, so that means inside the uh, page builders, anywhere that you want, you can throw the slug and it will work. Now, pricing. The lifetime pricing, which is the one that I did, uh, unlimited sites, lifetime support, $199. Single site, you get one year of support, you get to do one site, $49 a year. If you're going to have a website for more than a couple of years, it's probably worthwhile to do this. And you have unlimited sites and once you do one you're probably going to want to do more <clears throat> you're going to you know if you do it for a client you're going to have another client down the line once you realize how easy it is and how fast it is and how easy it is to manage so once you install the uh, plugin uh, you'll have a page generator pro option on your sidebar in wordpress you click on keywords that's where you generate the words that are going to fire when you make the pages you give the keyword a slug name, uh, or as they call it, a template tag name, but I call it a slug. Um, so I called mine Target Town, okay? And uh, the source, you can import stuff from CSV, etc. if you're going to make a huge site. I only type 10, you know, towns near me and um, basically list them out. So anytime that it hits on the slug Target Town, it's going to repeat one of these, okay? So here we are uh, generating content. So after you do the keywords and you save it, you click generate content and it's going to bring you to your page builder. Inside your page builder on your title, you can put in the slug and then your service. So target town data recovery. And then you can add your images and inside the images and in the alt tag, you can, you know, like I said, you can put in the slug um, so that you have, uh, you know, alt tag with the town name. Um, the, these are headlines, um, H twos, and it says, you know, the slug with curly brackets, target town, data recovery, and then you see the content below. Now, if you notice in the content below, we have, uh, spin tax. We provide all or many, uh, data recovery services to businesses in target town. If you live in target town or the surrounding area, if you lost data, call us, contact us. The reason why I do that is the more uh, you use spin tax in these pages, even if you use it as simply as this, it's going to generate a more unique page. Whether or not you need that, that's up to you. You know, there's different camps of thought, you know, as far as whether or not you need them to be unique. Um, if you do it like this, they're going to be unique um, to some degree. Uh, the more you would spin stuff like, you know, laptop data or RAID data, that would make them more unique as opposed to these fluff words. That's fine. Um, it is important when you're generating content in this tool to often save, um, save, save, save. 
um, I'm going to jump around here. So make sure that you save, you know, as you generate the content. And then um, the one of the most important options here is uh, overwrite. So the overwrite um, is for when you have a page, you know, say the website is jamesdatarecovery.com slash uh, Nanuet, a town near me. Um, if the page already exists, it will overwrite it. That's what you want to do. It just makes it easier to manage that way. You don't want it to make new pages with Nanuet-1, Nanuet-2. Now you have other stuff that you have to delete. Just keep regenerating over itself. The uh, spun content here, I say no. And the reason why I say no is I don't want um, Page Generator Pro to be doing the spun content. I already spun it myself. You can use their page, uh, their uh, spinning. Um, I don't. I do my own. And you can spin content. There are, you know, free spinners out there. There's the better spinners, etc. You know, spun content's easy to come by and easy to generate. Now, after you've saved, you click generate via browser and it makes the pages. It will make 10 pages because we had 10 terms and it will fill in the target town with our towns. Now this is the output. Um, I blurred some of the site. Um, so basically where we had the slug, we'll see you know the town name, the town name. And uh, inside the content, we provide many data recovery services to businesses in Airmont. Um, if you live in Airmont or the surrounding area, etc., and it has the images and the images this isn't a live preview of it, but if you were to mouse over them, they have alt tags that are also slugged with town name. So quick and simple. I mean, it's three screens and you're good to go. Now, as far as managing the content that it generated, now it generated 10 pages, right? And this is your generate content screen. And it works just like WordPress pages, but each one of these lines is however many terms you have pages long and um, what you can do is you can click on view generated content it'll show you a list of the URLs that it generated the pages that it generated the other thing is that you can trash or delete the content or you can click here and trash everything you know uh, as far as the uh, the generated content um, you know job itself uh, so you can delete the job or you can delete the content that it made but if you're going to generate it later, you can just have the overwrite on and it'll automatically overwrite it. So it's pretty simple. I mean, can't get much easier. And all you have to do is remember that, you know, slug. And when you, you know, put the slug anywhere, it's going to insert the town. It's pretty straightforward. Um, as far as what else is possible in Page Generator Pro, um, it's very full featured. I mean, there are pages and pages of features as far as what this tool can do. Um, it does do uh, Google dynamic map embeds, which means if you were to insert the slug target town, it will generate a, a, a Google map of target town. So that it looks more believable that you do business in that area. Um, it also uh, you know, can manipulate the alt images. And the third one here is stacking terms. Um, you can have, instead of the terms being simple, just one town, you can make the town plus either maybe two landmarks after it or, um, you know, things that have to do with that town or the zip code and the area code. And that way you say, hey, you know what, we do service in Airmont. If you live in the 10901 area code, we can help you out. And then you have the area code in the page, and then you have the town. So that's stacking terms for multi slugs. And there's a ton of other features. That if you go to the page generator uh, page, uh, site, they have a whole list of features. Again, the program um, pricing it's $199 for lifetime, unlimited sites, $49 for one site for one year. Uh, it's pretty worthwhile. I mean, I've generated sites, you know, I've generated a bunch of um, location pages with it. Um, there are a lot of benefits to uh, mass page sites. The one thing that I would say is um, depending on where, um, and this will be the final thing for this video, um, depending on where you're doing business, whether or not you're doing business in big cities or you're doing business in um, 
smaller areas, smaller rural, rural areas. Um, you may want to consider, uh, and I should have put a slide on here, um, the difference between having um, the geographic times the service or geographic plus the service. And I'll explain. So if you have six areas that you do business in and three services, there's two uh, schools of thought. Should you have nine pages, which is six plus three, or should you have 18 pages, which is six times three? Um, should you have a, a, a cross section or a matrix of every single search term via every single uh, you know service term versus every single geographic that you service? And the long and short of what I've seen is you definitely want to side with the size of the area and the number of the amount of traffic that's going to come to those pages. Also, um, your link building skills. Um, if your link build, you know, if it's a smaller area, you want to do plus. You only want to have nine pages. If it's a bigger area and the pages are going to get more traffic you probably want to do multiply and come out with 18 pages in that scenario. One page for every combination of service times geo. Um, it also comes down to your link building skills. Um, if your link building skills are top notch, go for 18, get them all ranked. If your uh, link building skills are questionable, you might want to go with the nine because it's a whole lot easier to build page, you know, links to nine pages versus uh, 18 or you know if you scale up that 9 versus 18 disparity could come become a lot bigger so I hope you enjoyed tonight's uh, presentation on uh, page generator pro um, I've been using it for a couple of years and I've loved it I think they've been around since 2014 so it's not a program that's going to disappear anytime soon like another a bunch of the other mass page programs have and uh, you'll come out with a good results. It's it's real quick and simple. Works with all the other page generators. So I mean uh, page builders. So uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of the presentation tonight. What you think of uh, Page Generator Pro versus other uh, mass page programs. And if you have any questions as far as what you can and can't do with this program. All right. Thanks. Take care. Bye.